Hello everyone and welcome to today's JESTA IS webinar. My name is Sandra Afayan and I'll be your host today as we discover the top five sourcing and demand challenges and the secrets for solving them. On the line today, we're joined by my colleagues Drew Miller, who is one of our account managers, as well as Nancy Sears, who is a pre-sales consultant for JESTA. So before I hand over the mic to our presenters, I'd just like to go over a few logistics with you. As a participant, your microphone will be, remain muted throughout the duration of the webinar. If you'd like to ask some questions, you're more than welcome to type them up in the chat box, and they'll be addressed during the Q&A portion at the end of our event. Hopefully, we'll have time for all of your questions, but if there are any left out, we'll make sure to email you directly after the webinar. So today's webinar, we will begin with a brief introduction about JESTA IS, and then we'll jump right into the secrets for solving today's major sourcing and demand challenges. So without further ado, I'll hand over the floor to Drew. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, before we start, I'm going to give a little bit of background and genetics about uh, JESTA as a company. We have over 50 plus years of experience in the apparel, footwear, and accessory industry. And we're only focused on that wholesale manufacturing and retail side of the business. We don't focus on any type of vertical uh, industries, so that makes us uh, a specialty and allows us to be scale scalable, flexible, and agile to cover most all of retail's needs. We also consider ourselves a one-stop shop. So our applications cover the complete business process that most retailers face today. For many large clients, we are the complete system of record with our applications. We also consider ourselves a partner. That's our strategy going forward, is that we want to be a, in with a collaborative, long-term effort with our uh, client base. One of the things that we don't do is we don't use third-party uh, uh, services to handle our implementations and support. We do everything in-house that makes it a cohesive project when we implement with a new client. This makes us truly a one-stop shop. The next slide will uh, give you an idea of some of the clients that we have uh, within our uh, customer base. Uh, you'll notice some pretty big names out there that are both in manufacturing and in retail. And since we're going to be focusing on sourcing and demand today, I'll point out some of the few of them on here, such as Guess, uh, Cherokee, Carters, uh, Perry International, as well as Puma, who's a good example of an integrated retailer that uses our system where we're the complete system of record. The next slide will take a look at uh, the products that we have. When I mention us being a one, just a being a one-stop shop, our applications cover a fully integrated uh, retailer. I'll start with the bottom left and talk about the store application where all the transactions can happen in the brick and mortar uh, stores, as well as customer information that's there. We have a complete merchandising application that entails planning and forecasting. We also have a, uh, an EDOM, which is a distributed order management plugin that goes into your e-commerce site, which allows a retailer to be truly omni-channel. We have a centralized application that allows for um, analytics and uh, financials as well as mobile so that you can better plan and run your retail operation. And today, since we're focusing on sourcing and demand, we have applications that cover that area as well. So with that said, I'm going to turn it over to Nancy Sears, who's going to cover the top five challenges in sourcing and demand today. Thanks, Drew. As uh, Drew said, my name is Nancy Sears, and I am a pre-sales consultant for JESTA. 
I've been in the technology and consulting business for the apparel industry for close to 15 years now. And during that time, I've had the opportunity for many conversations with customers and prospects. And what I've found is that the challenges faced by the wholesale professionals, and that's both retailers and manufacturers, are frequently quite similar. Now, over the past 40 years, Jesta has been able to assist these companies meet and defeat these challenges. So we felt compelled to share these challenges with you and explain how our customers have solved them using Jesta's vision, sourcing, and demand solution. Now, as an aside and some confirmation, a recent Gartner research study printed in Apparel Magazine listed a number of these challenges as key 2014 initiatives to support future growth. We hope you find these ideas compelling and look forward to the opportunity to discuss them with you after the presentation. So let's get started. Number one on our list, process improvements to create agility. We know that managing global trade requires visibility and control, but we often find that there are processes that a company's ERP system just can't handle, and often this requires calculations outside the system. This leads to delays, to errors, to miscommunication, instead of allowing you to reduce your lead times, enjoy growth opportunities, or improve your supply chain. Now, in the Gartner study that I mentioned, 44% of companies had active initiatives to reduce lead times by improving internal processes. Just as vision sourcing and demand offers the tools necessary to improve these processes and increase your agility. Material resource planning tops the list of processes handled outside an ERP system based on our experience. Your PLM, or your product data management system, houses the bill of materials information, of course. But is that information electronically available to your ERP so that you can calculate your actual needs against your company's sales orders or sales plan data? Vision sourcing and demand can manage your product bill of materials, and that could be from our PLM or from yours and will automatically calculate your material requirements across all products that use that material, and that's based on BOM usage, and, and that will allow you to plot the delivery of those materials based on required deliveries and lead times. And as the materials are used in the manufacturing process, your inventory will automatically be reduced to show your availability. Having this information can be useful in a number of ways and will be addressed a bit later in the webinar. Next, at the, let's talk about the product level. Vision Sourcing and Demand has a unique inquiry screen that we call Time Frame Availability. Time Frame Availability allows you to not only react, but also forecast your inventory availability. You can identify when goods will be available at the SKU level and increase the ability to fulfill customer orders in a timely manner. In part, it calculates your on-hand, your finished good purchase orders, customer orders, your available to sell, and forecasting, which is useful for replenishment items. And it's all by warehouse, so whether your POs are direct shipped from the manufacturer to the customer or to your store that's acting as a localized distribution center. Ultimately, this should allow you to increase your inventory turn by having the goods at the time when your customers want it delivered, and considering omni-channel requirements today in the appropriate warehouse. It will also alert you when inventory problems arise so that customers can be notified in a timely manner. Now, it's one thing to have a place to store your customer info, your purchasing, and your manufacturing information, but can you use that data to allow you to make timely decisions? Vision Business Intelligence gives you the tools you need in terms of actionable reports and dashboards at a variety of business levels. Vendor scorecards with data such as receipts on time percent and quality will help you make decisions on your supply chain. Planning information, such as forecast versus actual sales performance at various business levels, will allow you to interpret your sales trends and can help you determine new products or categories. In terms of cost savings, inventory reports can help identify liabilities in both raw materials and finished goods. 
and a true actionable report will allow you to drill down to lower levels to view business in a variety of ways as seen in this sales dashboard. Number two on the list, do you find often that your hands are tied with your current ERP system? Many of our customers and prospects were or are using homegrown or legacy applications that have been in place for quite a long time, and really this often still includes Excel and possibly Access. These systems aren't giving these companies flexibility, interaction, or scalability required to allow their businesses to keep pace. So let's explore these points. System flexibility is a consistent topic when discussing business challenges. Many systems that were purchased years ago worked for the product line and the supply chain factors that were in place at the time. But as business requirements change, technology has failed to keep pace, and this can cover a lot of territory. Some examples from our market. We used to only purchase or manufacture single dimension products, but now we're purchasing and manufacturing multi-dimension products such as waist and inseams, sizes and widths, necks and sleeve lengths. You must have the flexibility to handle any sizing variation. We used to only offer our products one way, but now we're offering customization options. Your customer service teams need the ability to input these custom orders. And the screenshot that you see is an example of something we call the configurator, which allows your customer service teams to take custom orders and be able to calculate costs and prices with the customizations. We used to only purchase FOB, but have altered our purchasing methods to CMT to have more control. So you must be able to have a variety of cost templates to apply to the appropriate products and the appropriate supply chain process. And we have a number of actual and virtual warehouses for a variety of purposes. You must be able to manage all of these warehouses and know where your inventory resides at any point. Vision Sourcing and Demand has been aware of these requirements and offers all of these tools to make sure that our customers have the flexibility to run their businesses today and in the future. Now, it's too often we work with companies that have a number of systems and processes in place that don't talk to each other. And I mentioned Excel, and I can mention it again here. What occurs in this situation is double and possibly triple data entry, which causes delays, miscommunication, and errors. Just as Vision Suite, however, incorporates and integrates all functionalities within the process. So that's from product development with Vision PLM, to sourcing and demand, which we've been discussing, to Vision WMS, our warehouse management systems, to Vision Financials. Vision sourcing and demand can also integrate with any systems that you currently run in order to create a seamless process from beginning to end. Now let's talk about scalability. Uh, Perry Alice, who is one of our global customers, they have over 20 divisions and at least a handful of labels for each of those divisions. As they run their business today and continue to acquire new businesses, their ability to manage an enormous amount of SKUs and transactions is very, very important to them. Our database architecture can handle from 10 to 10,000 users regardless of their location. And in terms of transactions, one of our premier children's wear customers handles almost 20,000 customer orders a day, and they expect to double that in the next year. And they handle approximately 400,000 SKUs in 2013. Our recent prospect contacted Jesta recently only because their current systems wouldn't allow them to handle an anticipated hated increase in their customer base. And these statistical examples are the answer to that challenge. Number three, the creative teams generally have their post-mortem meetings to discuss the trends, what worked, what didn't in terms of fit, color, and style. 
but the sourcing teams also need techniques for evaluating their successes and failures, and that's to help them improve new product launches, add appropriate new products or categories, or add new supply chain geographies. These, I find that these requirements can generally be broken down into four categories, so let's take a look. The first step in evaluating your successes and failures is to make sure that your systems have the information that quantifies these questions. Could we deliver what our customers wanted? And secondly, did we deliver it on time? With the appropriate business intelligence, you will be able to answer these questions. Vision Suite offers a variety of real-time actionable dashboards and reports based on industry standard KPIs, and we can configure new dashboards and reports based on your needs, or even make the data available to your current BI systems that are already in use. In addition, knowing what and when you deliver to your customer, it's also important to note whether the goods were first quality and whether they were profitable. Vision Sourcing and Demand allows you to receive your merchandise into different quality warehouses and thereby gives you the information you need to make sure that you only ship first quality to customers. This also gives you the information you need to evaluate and charge back the value of seconds to your internal or external suppliers. Now, to the question of whether we're profitable, there are a variety of margin reports and dashboards available to help you make this analysis. This example, Gross Margin by Style, allows you to review the business at a number of levels, at styles, groups, label, division, as well as having a link to the style master. When this report is run by customer, it can also help you evaluate the cost to serve in relation to your gross margin goals. Number four, with new collections often delivered on a monthly basis, the sourcing teams need a set of tools that allow them to work quickly and efficiently while managing many different changes. So let's explore some of these challenges. A technology system can only benefit a company if the users adopt and embrace it. And this means having a system that improves their daily experience, has the functionality they need, and is easy to use. With our extensive history and experience in this space, and highlighted by our long-term customers, such as you see here, strategic partners, we understand and offer the functionality that the users need. In addition, the users will find tools such as detailed audit trails, context-sensitive help, export to Excel, mass update, and exception reporting to keep them organized, efficient, and informed. In a customer-centric environment, being able to manage your customer's expectations is always in the forefront. But there are a number of tactics that can keep you and your customer service representatives ahead of the fray. Standard inbound and outbound EDI transactions keep the customer's information moving smoothly between their systems and yours. And all of your customer's order and shipping information and statuses can be viewed by the customer service teams in a variety of screens, including inventory availability down to the size level and the location of that inventory. Now, when systems don't talk to each other and our processes are manual, errors are bound to occur. Vision, sourcing, and demand has lowered these risks by offering a quite a number of automatic calculations that can improve your accuracy and your speed. Based on templates and preset algorithms, the systems can automatically allocate merchandise to the appropriate destination or quickly manage changes in allocation based on demand requirements. As merchandise is picked, inventories will automatically be updated and be followed by automatically generated invoices based on what was picked.
Now our last challenge focuses on the bottom line. This is an issue that is regularly being discussed regardless of the type of business you run. Pre-costs are generally calculated at the product development level to get an idea if you'll make a profit based on some estimates and selling prices. But as the goods are sold and go into production, the landscape can change. So do you have the tools that you need to manage your costs and profits? A strong system will allow you to integrate data from your product development software so that you will have your starting point for the style master as well as the bill of material and costing template. Using this information to then manage and evaluate your cost actuals for materials and labor. Actuals can be viewed in vision sourcing and demand as a standard cost or a more popular option today is moving average cost. Cost reductions can also be found when bulk material purchases are made by seeing raw material requirements across multiple departments or labels. So what can affect your gross profit? Some examples. Your pricing structure, customer discounts, your inventory turns, finished goods inventory, or materials liability. Your best ammunition to keeping these under control is having the information and analysis can, that can allow you to make good decisions. Vision Sourcing and Demand offers all of these tools, and as mentioned earlier in the presentation, the time frame availability will allow you to plan just-in-time inventory, as well as analyze your, your liabilities. What's the cost if I cancel a product? and actionable dashboards that allow you to analyze your gross profits at any level of the business. Where do we need to make adjustments? Now we've just overviewed what Justa sees as the top five challenges that face wholesale executives. Likely, although I can't see your faces, I hope you've been nodding your heads in recognition that one or more of these challenges are ones that you face in your daily business. We would like the opportunity to start a conversation with you and see how Justice Vision Sourcing and Demand Technology can offer you resolution and move your business to a place where it can meet and exceed your corporate strategies. Uh, we do have some time to answer your questions, so let's see what you've written in. Sandra? Thanks, Nancy. This was a really good question that we just got in. It says, that you showed a couple of quotes from your customers and our, our viewer was actually wondering what kind of customers we have and what industries they're in. Okay, great. Uh, yes, I'd love to talk about that. We did mention during the presentation both Perry Ellis and Strategic Partners, which have been longtime customers. But in general, uh, our customers range from small retailers with uh, five or so stores to global brand manufacturers with hundreds of users. Uh, they're in many product categories, including wins, women's, men's, and children's wear, uh, accessories, shoes, protective gear, such as body armor, and athletic wear and athletic gear. And you'll generally find that our customers are using uh, not one, but several technologies within our Vision Suite offering. Great, thanks so much. The next question that I got in right here is, uh, the, the, the viewer is asking, what role does vendor collaboration play in the process? Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad uh, you brought that up because vendor collaboration is very important. Um, it, vendor collaboration is required through all points in the process and can be found uh, in the vision suite all the way from the pre-production side with spec pack data sharing and sample reviews all the way through the production process such as purchase orders and logistics. Thanks, Nancy. You talked about improved customer service. Our attendee is actually wondering if you can expand on your capabilities related to an omni-channel supply chain. 
Sure. Um, that's a topic that is being discussed on a regular basis today. And it, what I find in general is that our retail customers have a few different strategies when it comes to managing an omni-channel environment. Orders for their stores, from websites, or from mobile apps. And these strategies uh, can be first of all, to create pools of inventory at channel-specific distribution centers or fulfilling demand from any channel out of any distribution center. But in either case, vision sourcing and demand can meet their strategy by being able to manage orders from any channel. So it gives their companies visibility to their inventory wherever it resides and gives them the flexibility to transfer that merchandise to where it's needed. Wonderful. Nancy, our next attendees are actually manufacturers of women's shoes, and they're mentioning that their customers have many different requirements in how they order from this manufacturer, and they're asking if our product can actually handle this. Yeah, um, we have quite a number of businesses uh, in, in, um, that do have women's shoes, and the, the question uh, applies to many different areas, not just shoes. Uh, vision sourcing and demand is very flexible and can handle any type of customer orders, whether it's bulk, distribution, or single store orders. Uh, these orders can be entered manually or through EDI transactions, which is quite normal, or even through a B2B portal that we offer. Uh, you're going to find multiple pricing options as well as delivery reservations. And as I mentioned in the presentation, we can handle all of the details required to manage a shoe operation, uh, such as the multi-dimensional size requirements. Great. We actually have one more question that just came in. Um, if there's anyone on the line that had other questions, feel free. I will just uh, make a reminder um, to enter your questions in the chat box. Uh, so we'll go straight to the next question. The, they've written in that our department tends to manage so many changes that we can't keep track of it. Is there a way to track these changes? Yeah, that, that is something that comes up over and over again. We live in a business of changes, and vision sourcing and demand has a very detailed audit trail for almost every data screen. So every change from the original is recorded with the value before and the value after, as well as who made the change and the date and the time that it was made. And that can go down to, I think, tenths of a second for those who absolutely need to know exactly when a change was made. Um, another feature in this order, in, in this area, is a change reason code, and it must be supplied in many of the data entry screens, such as purchase orders, customer orders, receipts, and costing. So not only do you know who and when the change was made, but you know why the change was made. Thank you so much, Nancy. Um, the next question we're looking at here is, uh, it reads as follows. You talked about Product Master. Um, our, our attendees are actually wondering what other types of master data records JUSTA manages. Okay, good. Um, we did not go into too many details about um, the data behind uh, the information, but we, I'm, I'm glad it came up because we do manage all standard master data records, and this includes the style master, the product master, and this is used for both finished goods and raw materials, um, records for customers, for your stores, for your suppliers, and that includes the relationship uh, between the suppliers and their plants and their factories, uh, their bank tables and your warehouse tables. And in terms, just going into style details in a little bit more detail, uh, we house data for colors, for sizes, for dimensions, for size scales, and even HTS codes. And our customers have a number of different processes. So in many cases, these data tables are created in other systems, such as PLM or PDM, and are shared with vision sourcing and demand at the appropriate intervals based on a certain workflow signals. Wonderful. Thanks, Nancy. And the last question I'm seeing here is uh, the, the attendee is asking, how do you keep your system current in terms of the new requirements and functionalities? 
Great. Um, I'm glad you asked that. I, I know that we have on the line um, some customers who have uh, customers and prospects who have been with us for quite a while. Um, and we love to work very closely with our customers. And, and, and Drew mentioned this before. It's not only during their implementation, but after they are live and working. Uh, some of our development guidelines come from our customers' needs. And all of our configurations that are made for our customers are rolled into the base software and offered to all of our customers in their next upgrade. And we do feel very strongly about building and maintaining our customer relationships. And we will be hosting our annual user conference in the third quarter this year. Sandra, uh, correct me, I think believe that's going to be in Montreal this year. Is that correct? That's right, yes, and the details of, about that conference are going to be uh, sent out very shortly. Okay, very yeah. good. Good. Uh, Nancy, I'm not seeing any other questions at the moment. If there are any others, uh, we will be sure to address them offline after the call. Um, sure, we'd be happy to. Wonderful. So if that's... Uh, if there are no more questions, that wraps up our webinar for today. I would like to thank Nancy and Drew for uh, being very active uh, presenters during our webinar, and thank you very much to our